Caddo Mills is a one-horse town on Route 66. It's got one gas station, one grocery store, six churches, and one white Muslim, David. Islam emphasizes a lot of the same ideals that this country was actually founded on. Ideals of individual rights for all people, equality under the law. I would say that being Muslim has helped me to better appreciate the values on which the country was founded and I think to a certain extent the country has forgotten. At this point I couldn't actually even conceive of not being Muslim. I think uh, it would, it, it's kind of like the idea of thinking about, you know, not breathing. There's a lot of pressure to not convert to Islam. But on the other hand, there's always been an undercurrent in American popular culture of supporting the underdog or uh, you know, not going with the herd. There's plenty of people still in this country that are willing to say, well, I believe this is true and I'm gonna go with that, you know, and if anybody doesn't like it, well, nuts to them. Like the other white converts, David actually thinks being Muslim makes him a better American. With his wife Najma and their two daughters, he's living his version of the American dream. Life without pickles. But is it tough being the only Muslim family in town? Do people look at us? Yeah, they do. Um, it's so common now that I really hardly even notice it. Um, we actually get stared at by on, on all sides. When we're in the larger non-Muslim society, uh, people stare at my wife or my daughter because they're wearing the hijab and then they realize they're with that hey they're with that blonde white American guy well what's up with that so they you know they after then they're instead of staring at them they start staring at me and then they start staring at all of us uh, and it kind of goes the other way in the Muslim community you know here's this blonde white guy and you know well who's he <gasps> he's with her well, what's going on there so we kind of get uh, stared stared at from all sides but uh, most people are pretty polite about it, you know, they try not to stare. People out here, if anything, are uh, more tolerant than the people in the city. The stereotype of the, you know, the southern bigot is really pretty unfair. Thank you. Thank you. you have your night. Thank you. Texans might be tolerant, but it's still a hugely religious state. Surely Bible bashers wouldn't let Christians turn Muslim without putting up a fight. 253 vans going to Claremore, Oklahoma. Eric runs his trucking company in downtown Dallas. Is Marianne out there? He's a Muslim lone ranger in an office full of Christians. Marianne, Eric, looking for you. For Eric and right-hand man Ron, Every day at the office is a religious high noon. Uh -huh. Are you a Muslim? <laughs> no. <laughs> he, he will be. I'm the Christian side of this office. He's working on it. <laughs> Southwest. It's just the Christian side and it's the Muslim side. <laughs> um. I thought it didn't have you tried to convert you. Yes, yeah, several times. Everybody in we've, the office? We've had several big conversations. He's a preacher. I'm a minister, yeah. yeah. We have more in common than Eric wishes to care to uh, No, I'm the one to let on him about. that we have more in common than he thinks. And no, he now agrees with We have me. more in common than he thinks. He just doesn't want to come to the Christian side. Oh, back home. I, back home would be been the there, done back that. Back home. He don't want to come back home. Been there, done that. He don't want to come back home. <clears throat> That's all right. He's coming back. He's coming back home. Islam is everything I wanted Christianity to be. Which, wouldn't you consider becoming a Muslim? Yes, but he probably... When or would? Would you? No. <clears throat> you want to rephrase that? Try him again. Try him one more time. You lost him. Ron, is it possible that you could become a Muslim? Depending on how much money <laughs> you all have. No money. <laughs> no money. You seem to have plenty of money. You got enough money, I'll become a Muslim. No. I'm not considering it. I'll wear him down. Fax that to this number 
And then give me this back, that 516, which you can barely read. What did you know about Muslims before working with Eric? What do most people think? Terrorists. <laughs> think you can be a Muslim and a Texan? Well, I don't know because I don't know what their belief is, you know. Do they believe in God? Is that... Do you know? I don't know anything about the Muslim religion, but I believe their God's Allah. They call him Allah. <laughs> Since 9-11, mosques say they've seen more Americans convert to Islam than ever before. 9-11 was a tragedy. 9-11 should never have happened. Whoever did 9-11 should be sent to hell with the worst of punishments. And I, was, I want to make sure before I go any further how serious we take 9-11. Because 9-11 has turned into a blessing to the Muslim community. What has happened because of 9-11 is that people have gone out to actually buy a Quran. They want to actually start to understand Muslims and try to figure out why this behavior, why is this happening. People are learning more about Islam every day because of 9-11. And I don't think they're going into it to become Muslim because they like what they saw. But I think they want to understand what's going on. And as they do, they start to see the beauty of Islam.